Hi friends, Allie here. In today's tutorial, we will be making the All Star Ice Cream Pint Cozy. This is a cute and easy cover for your ice cream pint that keeps your hands from getting cold. This matches the last pattern I released, which was the All Star Can Cozy, which fits a regular can and a skinny can. I'll link that down below if you want to check out that pattern. This pattern is worked up of star stitches, which gives it this beautiful and fun texture. You can find the free written pattern for this on my blog or the ad-free PDF on Etsy and Ravelry. Links to all of those are down below, and if you're ready to get started, let's head over to our supply list. For this tutorial, you will need either Bernat Maker Home Decor Yarn or any medium four weight cotton yarn. I tested the pattern with both and they both worked great. You'll also need a 5.5 millimeter or eye hook, scissors, and a yarn needle. We're going to begin by making a magic circle. So we're going to take our tail end here and we're going to wrap it around our pointer finger and middle finger. Once you bring it around for a second time, we're going to cross it over to make an X and bring it to the back of our hand. Taking your hook, you're going to insert it under the first loop, grab the second one and bring it under, and then flip up that loop on our hook. And then removing our fingers, we're going to secure that loop with a chain one. And there we have our magic circle. Now on to round one, we are going to be working around both these strands of yarn and we're going to work seven single crochets inside of the circle. So for round one, we're just going to work seven single crochets inside of the circle. When you finish your seventh single crochet, we're just going to take that short tail end there and pull it tight to close up the circle. And then we're going to join to the very first single crochet that we made with a slip stitch. And then we're going to chain one. And at the end of round one, our stitch count is at seven. Now on to round two, we're going to be working two single crochets into each stitch around. So working one single crochet into that first stitch and then another single crochet into that same stitch. We're just gonna repeat that all the way around, working two single crochets into each stitch around. At the end of round two, our stitch count is now at 14. We're gonna join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet that we worked of the round, and then chain one. Now on to round three. For round three, we're going to work one single crochet into the first stitch, and then two single crochets into the next stitch. Then one single crochet into the next stitch, and then two single crochets into the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around for round three. That's one single crochet into the next stitch, and then two single crochets into the next stitch. At the end of round three, our stitch count is now at 21. We're going to join to the first single crochet with a slip stitch and then chain one. Now we're on to round four. For round four, we're going to work one single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch, and then two single crochets into the next stitch. So we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches and then two single crochets into the next. And we're going to repeat that all the way around for round four. So that's one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two single crochets into the next stitch. At the end of round four, our stitch count is now at 28. I'm going to join to the beginning with a slip stitch. And now we're going to work one more round for our base. So now on to round five, we're going to work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches. 
and then two single crochets into the next stitch. We're going to repeat that around, so one single crochet in each of the next three stitches, and then two single crochets into the next. At the end of round five, our stitch count is now at 35, and we're going to join to the first single crochet. And here I'm going to measure my base. So you want your base to be about three and a half inches wide. So just from edge to edge, you want it to be about three and a half inches. So there I have it right on the dot, so I'm good to go. If it's a tiny bit over or under, that's okay, but just as close as three and a half inches as you can. And now we're gonna start working up, so working the walls of our cozy. And here we're gonna start our star stitches. So the star stitch consists of two rows. So for this first row, we are going to chain three. Now working back into our chains, we're gonna insert our hook into the second chain from the hook. Insert your hook and pull up a loop, so we have two loops on our hook. And then insert your hook into the next chain down and pull up a loop, so we have three loops on our hook. Then working into the first stitch, insert your hook and pull up a loop. Then into the next stitch, insert your hook and pull up a loop. And then one more time in the next stitch, insert your hook, pull up a loop, so we have six loops on our hook yarn over and pull through all six loops on our hook and then chain one so there's our first star stitch now the first star stitch of the round is worked a bit different than the rest so for the rest of them we're going to work in that little spot right there that's going to be the eye of the star stitch so insert your hook into the eye of the star stitch and pull up a loop then working between the first and second posts of that last star stitch we're going to insert our hook right between those two posts yarn over and pull up a loop then working into this stitch down here, so that last stitch we worked into for our last star stitch, insert your hook and pull up a loop. And then into the next two stitches, we are going to insert our hooks and pull up loops until we have six loops on our hook. And then yarn over and pull through all six loops on our hook and chain one. So there we have two star stitches there. And we're just gonna repeat what we did for the last one. So insert your hook into the eye of the star stitch, pull up a loop. And then insert your hook between the first and second posts of that last star stitch and pull up a loop and then into that stitch down below where we worked our last star stitch into insert your hook pull up a loop into the next stitch insert your hook pull up a loop and into the next stitch insert your hook pull up a loop so you have six loops on your hook yarn over pull through all six loops on your hook and chain one. So we're gonna repeat this all the way around for round six. So I'll show you one more time how to do it. So insert your hook into the eye of that last star stitch and pull up a loop so we have two loops on our hook. Insert your hook between the first and second posts of that last star stitch, pull up a loop. Then into the bottom of this stitch, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Then into the next stitch, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and then into the next stitch, insert your hook, pull up a loop until you have six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all six loops, and chain one. So we're just gonna repeat this all the way around for a total of 17 star stitches around. And then into our last stitch, we are gonna work a half double crochet. So just continue the star stitches as normal, and when we get to that last stitch, I'll show you what to do. But just for the meantime, we're a total of 17 star stitches around for round six. So I'm just coming up to the last star stitch. So when I finish the 17th star stitch, we're just gonna work one half double crochet into that last stitch so that we had worked the star stitch into that last stitch. So we're also just gonna add in a half double crochet at the end. And then we're going to join with a slip stitch to the very first stitch and there we have round six so that's our first round for our star stitch then we're going to chain one and now we're on to round seven and for round seven we're going to finish up the star stitches just by working a round of single crochets so we're going to work one single crochet into that very first stitch right there and then one single crochet into the first eye of that first um, star stitch. So we're just gonna work one into that one. And then all the way around, we're going to work 
two single crochets into the eye of each star stitch around. So work two single crochets into each of the eyes of each star stitch around. And that's just gonna finish up the star stitch shape. So just repeat around for round seven, two single crochets into each eye of each star stitch. So I'm just coming up to that last star stitch. So I'm going to work two single crochets into the eye of that last star stitch. And then I'm going to work one single crochet into that very last stitch there. So that's the top of the half double crochet from the last round. And then we're going to join. So at the end of round seven, our stitch count is at 35. And now for the next four rounds, so rounds eight to 11, we're just going to repeat round six and seven. So we're going to repeat round six and seven two more times. So repeating round six, we're going to chain three to start our star stitch. Insert your hook into the second chain from the hook, pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the next chain, pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all six loops on your hook and chain one. So there's our first star stitch. And then we're just gonna continue working our star stitches all the way around for, rounds, for round six. And then we're gonna repeat round seven and then repeat round six and seven one more time for a total of 11 rounds. So I'm just gonna continue on repeating round six and seven two more times. And I'm gonna catch up with you guys when I reach the end of round 11. So I'm just coming up to the end of round 11 and this is what my cozy is looking like now. So I'm just gonna stop and measure mine and you want it to be about three inches tall. Now this is with your base flat. You want just the edges, so from rounds six up, you want it to measure about three inches tall. Now I found with the Burnham Matte sorry, Bernat Maker Home Decor Yarn, I only needed a total of 11 rounds to get to three inches. But if I used the thinner cotton yarn, the medium weight cotton yarn, I found that 13 rounds was closer to three inches. So if you are using a thinner yarn, you can work more rounds if you want to get it closer to that three inches. But here I'm going to stop. So I'm gonna tie off my yarn and then I'm just gonna weave in all my ends and then we're all done. And here is our finished all-star ice cream pint cozy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like the ad-free, easy to print PDF version of this pattern, you can find it in my Etsy shop and on Ravelry. You can also find the free version of this pattern on my blog, whoshomemade.com. If you'd like to show off your finished cozy, you can tag me at the turtle trunk on Instagram. I'd love to see your finished creation. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.